Rod and Spill here, and today we're doing another movie review. Today we've got Tomb Raider, the brand new Lara Croft movie. First, I'm going to go over the cast, the good, the bad, and any extra stuff that I liked. First, the cast, you had Alicia. Oh, this is a spoiler review, so if you don't want to know anything about the uh, video, do not watch this and come back when you see the movie. Uh, first, the cast, I got Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft. I never saw any of her movies, so I don't have no reference with her. I know she was a man from Uncle lately. Uh, Dominic West, who played the father, Richard. Uh, interesting tidbits: he was in Finding Dory, <clears throat> and he was in Star Wars Episode One as a palace guard. And then you have Walter Goggins, was Mathis Vogel. Uh, he was in Cowboys and Aliens. This guy looks like the typical movie bad guy, beard and all. And then Daniel Wu was Lu Ren. Uh, he was in Warcraft, his first video game movie, and Geostorm. I've never seen any of those, neither. Now, for the good, uh, I like this. You got to see Lara Croft as an inex it was an, a younger, inexperienced version of her. Uh, you see the first time she killed somebody, how it affected her. She didn't use her guns. She used a bow and arrow. And only at the end of the movie did she get her famous two guns. Uh, let's see. She Another good stuff was she looked for her dad. And in this one, she actually found him. <clears throat> uh, she used her intelligence to solve the riddles. The action scenes were great. I love the whole rusted airplane part with the waterfall. And the puzzles in the mountain. Which was one of my bad parts. But we'll get to that next. Uh, I like how the curse was explained in real life. It was a disease. They uh, bury the lady so she doesn't get anybody else sick and die. And the whole backstory about Partna, Trinity, and the Croft Foundation was very intriguing. And all the scenes with as a young Lara Croft uh, were pretty good. Uh, side note, too, the teenage Lara Croft also played the teenage girl in Wonder Woman, which I found was interesting. Thank you, IMDb. The stuff not so good. The beginning of the movie was a little slow to start, but it did eventually it did eventually take off. Um, back to that entrance riddle, she did solve it a little too quick. She jumped from pilot like from uh, rotating disc to rotating disc. It was more like a big one of what she solved earlier in the movie, but still, she's not an archaeologist in this. She just goes by what her dad wrote in the book and that she studied and um her limited knowledge again all she did was read her father's notes and she wasn't really a background in archaeology all the extra stuff i love the raiders of the lost ark vibe that was great so the action scenes and the cinematography were excellent well shot uh, sunlight, night scenes, I mean, it was just, I love that whole, very good. It left it open for sequels. It definitely left it open for sequels. Uh, you found out her aunt, I believe it was, was the bad guy. And that her company was responsible for the whole entire plot. Basically, her father's company was a Croft Foundation, and they own a lot of companies, and one of the companies they owned was the Partna, which was the company that was trying to find uh, Kamiko, Hamiko, the uh, the goddess, the, the Japanese goddess that they thought was a secret power. But you found out that her company actually owned it. And it makes you wonder, Trinity was like the Illuminati in the original Laura Craft. It was a top secret group bent on taking over the earth. And I love how it all ties together with the Croft Foundation, her aunt, which I think is the aunt, I'm not really sure, uh, Trinity, the partner, and all that stuff. And I'm glad that Laura was able to, to get involved and that she knows all this exists and what she's going to do about it. And I hope the next movie, I hope this movie does do good. I know it's only projected, $22 million opening weekend, as you can see by St. Patty's Day 2018. 
but I really do hope this breaks the video game curse and they do do more sequels. Because I want the next sequel to take place several years later when she's got more training, more background. A few times in this movie, she got her butt kicked. Literally, she lost a few fights and she won a few. But I like how she was a rookie, she was a novice, she's just getting her feet wet into this archaeology business. And now that she's got time, she's got her father's money, the company. Now that she's got the wherewithal to train, to go explore. Um, her father has a secret office underneath his tomb where she found all this stuff. And at the end of the movie, she's got a few things in the book highlighted. So now she knows where her next step. And I really, really do hope that Tomb Raider becomes a franchise. Because I really, really like this movie. I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. And that's a pretty good rating. Um, I don't usually give movies 10s or figures or movies 10s, but this one deserved a 9. Like I said, the beginning was a little slow. It was a good bike chase scene in the beginning. And I thought for her experience with archaeology, she solved some of the riddles a little too quick. But she was very intelligent. She takes after her dad, and I like that. So there you go, guys. There is my Tomb Raider review. The good, the not so good, and all that extra stuff. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other movie reviews. Check out my Transformer reviews, DC, Marvel movies, Legos. We do a whole bunch of stuff on this channel. So just subscribe and come back and check out all my playlists. This is Rodimus Bill saying get out there and go see Tomb Raider. Rodimus Bill out.